Shields. As the per usual is said, we do appreciate everyone that's watching the stream now, or going to be, and everyone that watches the VOD over on YouTube. <sighs> oh yeah, Enter the Morgue was our plan for today. I forgot about that. Get to mesmerize a little too. It's, it's, it's gonna to be work. a. It's gonna be a plan. Not now. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I bugged you, sir. I'm leaving. Feel like I can get in there. Scowl voices in the garden. I should investigate. If they were to find somebody. Oh, so they're level six now, we're level nine. here and there's no reason for me to be up here die for me like I did not I did not lower your health to nothing sir Tried to dodge, that didn't go that well. I forgot if it's not two, it's one. are an item of course those two have hidden their affections well oh this is a part of a side mission I believe I thought I saw something shine in the bush there weapon real quick. That 
that's Crane, that's Hawkins. I assume I should be able to talk to them about their relationship. Good evening, Dr. Reed. No? No. Goodbye, Nas Hawkins. I figured I could speak to them. He's recovering. I still need to get treatments for fatigue to get these guys happy again. And then we're killing Tippins. Yeah, and we don't have anyone else's. Cool. I really had no reason to come back here. Take this a little bit slower, you know? wondering how we're walking right now there is a toggle button for it and it's quite it's quite nice for sections like this oh I can just straight up leave the front, through the front door now that's fucking weird begging that's all upstairs I cannot enter Who's calls? Balls of Mars. Fortifiers. <laughs> as popular as they are ineffective. But they do contain iron tartrate, and that might prove it quite useful. I didn't even notice he went for it. Can't go through there because the door is red. I don't know about that room. This key will surely grant me access to the basement. Yep. Doesn't seem there's anything else.
Outplayed. Outplayed, Scrib Lord. Shotgun shots. Can't go in there. I probably can't go in there. No, can just loot the corpse. So, what are we thinking's in the basement, boys? What do we? These scowls feed from corpses and the husks of animals. They're not after blood. Actually, forget can I not yeah no I can it's just a bitch um I don't really need the attack speed but my thing is I want to see yeah yeah I'll... oops What's up, asshole? Easy. Oh. Citizen investigations. Missing ingredients reach the pharmacy. Find out the cause of death. Okay. Mr. Connor's injuries don't match the report. I'd better look into this. I can just okay. Traces of a pinkish foam at the corner of the lips. Some sort of drug overdose, perhaps. Multiple abrasions and scarring on the arms and legs. Old and distinctive injuries of a sailor or a fisherman. The chest was originally open to perform the operation. The sutures are clean, mm -hmm. but the chest has been reopened. A puncture over the left lung.
Possibly a chest tube insertion. Not the cleanest work, but I think it was successful. Signs of internal bleeding. So, Dr. Tippett's anesthetics were incorrectly dosed, causing the patient's death. And then, he tried to operate on him again. Tippett has made an egregious error. It's time we talked. All right, so Tippett's is gonna die. I'm joking. We can't even we can't even mesmerize his ass yet. If this isn't a boss fight room, I'm gonna be fucking depressed. Damn, I'll know I dodged that. That's some bullshit. for that shit. Very slowly. These skulls can be so ferocious. Oh, How they sure fucking hurt to come in stronger. Oh, to drink blood is so tempting. up here oh, workbench we like workbenches okay um treatment for fatigue I need two of those but I can treat at least one of them so that's nice Right now we are using the axe, and I can't afford to upgrade it. And we are also using the pistol, which I cannot upgrade. <clears throat> stun is 10, stun is 10. 10 as well, so if I do this, what's your stun go up to, 15? Add three stun, so eighteen. Bring back the wallets. All right. I have a feeling I'm going to be fighting again, so might as well at least get to half. Called it. Uh, 
I love calling it. <laughs> I can give the kid... I don't know which one I want to give the fatigue potion to. Or, yeah, not potion. The medicine to. I have such a headache right now, so, like, this is actually hurting, <laughs> but I make an obligation, and god bippy damn it, I will do it. I know you don't have a headache, I know you don't. That's a droid. Give the kid. I'll talk to you in a second, ma'am. Good evening, Doctor. Good evening. You're... Are you not aware suicide is a crime? Mortimer could be thrown in jail. I can't let that happen. I won't. I understand you fear the legal consequences, Mrs. Goswick. But don't you realize your silence significantly affects your son's case? All my son needs is help and comprehension. Not judgment and punishment for what he may or may not have done. Goodbye, Mrs. Goswick. I still got some for you anyway, so it doesn't matter. Good evening, Mr. Goswick. How are you? I'm okay. Do you need any help? I'm afraid I may, sir. You are not a burden, sir. Healing you is my responsibility. And you have my gratitude for that. So he's going to be recovering. Blood quality is going to go up. I assume... Yep. Admit it, Mortimer. Your mother had you hospitalized here because you tried to kill yourself. Yes, it's true. All right, then. This is the first time we've really shared information about your case. Shall we call this progress? Call it what you want, Dr. Reed. You can... I guess I should thank you, then. Can I help you in any way, Mr. Goswick? I wrote a letter for my mother. She was supposed to read it after... after my death. But... I suppose she doesn't have to read it now. I see. And is this letter still near the place where you tried to take your own life? Yes. And I don't want anyone reading my last words. I mean, I'm still here. If you bring me back that letter, then perhaps we'll talk. Okay. Okay. Tell me. I don't... How painful. So... I have to go. That's giving me the same thing as last time. Hello? Yes, Doctor? Exactly how bad is the supply situation here at Pembroke? It really depends. Dr. Swansea deftly works his society contacts for monies, but with the quarantine, well, we're in God's hands. I was reaching over to grab some water from my little stash. Please, could you point me in the direction of the morgue again? It's the large board... Why? At the... Your dedication to the Pembroke does you credit, Nurse Crane, but when do you sleep? We staff get our sleep when we can, Doctor. Nursing is a vocation, not the labor of a journeyman. Lack of sleep and the medical profession always ends in disaster. I've witnessed many a colleague succumb to stimulants to fight exhaustion. Drugs were as deadly as bullets in the trenches. London's trenches start here at Pembroke Hospital. We are on the front line, make no mistake. That's all for now. No no, oh, she's a level two. I didn't realize that. I don't have another thing for fatigue, otherwise you'd be getting it. Don't, don't.
Don't worry about that shit. Remember, Citizen's Blood will provide you massive XP boost. Look for Citizen's... I don't choose wisely. I'm just gonna kill everyone that's, <laughs> that's at levels, you know? I'm gonna go spend... I can't walk. We're gonna go spend our thousand XP. Hopefully not ram our knees into something that we don't need to. Oh yeah, and we also have the, um... We also have two side quest things to complete. Three, technically, if you count the Mortimer one. I'm just double checking all of these to make sure. again just to make sure cool um, nothing else around here and it goes to 600 I said it once and I'll say it again cheapest stuff first Six hundred, five hundred for for spring. Five hundred for oh the this isn't my ultimate. I thought this I thought this was interesting. So in reality, I can't afford fucking any of it. stable, which I enjoy. The prices and stocks and merchants in this district may have changed. Yeah, figured. Yeah, he's super fatigued. Good thing I only want her son in this, this bastard. Yeah, we got to back up to stable, which I will take stable all fucking day. Dr. Crane. It's not Strickland, right? Yeah. We can go back and kill the barkeep. And I'm joking, because of course I don't have... I don't have the way of killing him yet. So we got level 2 on everything there, that's good. Hospital, fucking this whole place. It's so weird to me. Milton. Good evening, Milton. Good evening. I have some good news, Milton. What? The epidemic's over? I retrieved your wallet. With all the money and a certain picture. Well, yeah. Pippa Hawkins is my girl. So what? Is it the difference of skin color that bothers you? Not at all, Milton. Good. Please, take this money anyway. 
to remind you to keep your mouth shut. Not everybody's as broad-minded as you, Dr. Reed. Well, I got to. What's going on between you and Nurse Hawkins? Pippa's tired. Tired of all this shit. Tired of all those corpses piling up. She's as depressed as I am. During the war, I witnessed a few couples just like you come together in difficult circumstances. It can be very damaging. Maybe you're right. But we support each other. And that's all that matters. You do realize you could both get fired. Hospital staff are not meant to have intimate relationships with one another. Come on, Dr. Reed. Do you know how many rules are broken in this hospital every day just to keep it running? There's nothing wrong with what we're doing. Felt that. Admit it. Nurse Hawkins is more than your lover. She's also your partner in crime. Of course she is. How else could I tell which bed is free? I need to know that. Have you no shame? Don't you see the city is crumbling down? Today, people are ready to pay to get a hospital bed. Tomorrow, we may be fighting for food. I'd like to never looked at your store. Milton shotgun. All right. And then tippets. Where are you at? Tippets. That's Dorothy. That's Strickland. That's whatever the hell his name is. Where the hell is Tippets? What the fuck? Tippets. Good evening, Doctor. Kokoran, I want you to tell me about Mr. Connor. How did he die? What happened? He was my patient. He died because of my mistake. That's the blunt truth. I just smacked the shit what out of my mic. Oops. Mistake. It was a twofold error. My diagnosis was wrong, and the administered dosage was too strong. Who was this patient? I don't know. Some sick man from the docks. Maybe a fisherman. I had no time to talk with him. No one claimed a body. Why not stop practicing? Are you mad? I killed that man, I admit it. And it won't happen again. I have saved so many lives since then. It's a fair response, to be honest. Goodbye, Dr. Tippett. You have a lot of shit to talk about, Mr. Tippett. We can go upstairs and upgrade one more thing, and then, yeah. Go to talk to fucking Swansea. shot me eyes or um 500 right yeah for spring common <laughs> the common belief that vampires can disappear into the into thin air is misleading rather they can greatly increase their speed with blood i got 500 bucks to spend so there well 500 blood to spend Bring me all the way up to level 10. Oh, yeah. I feel like the more we upgrade, the more my face is just going to conform. <laughs> oh, that had stuff. I saw it. I saw it a sparkle. Codeine. Gotta love it. 
Hello. Please, Jonathan, come in. Fascinating, is it not? In the last decade, so many mysteries have been brought to light with our microscopes. The human body, biology's penultimate frontier. The more we explore its boundaries, the less we're able to trace a clear line between life and death. <laughs> You, my friend, have a foot in both countries. The view must be vertiginous. It's at least as vertiginous as chatting about vampires with you, I would say. This must be also new. Damn. It's just straight up a lock. A few. This area of town, unknown. the hospital, a brand new life. How stimulating it must be. I wish I could share your enthusiasm, Dr. Swansea. But my condition defies scientific categorization. Undead? Unalive? Immortality defies logic. I cannot express my thrill at this serendipitous turn of events. The world's most eminent specialist in blood transfusions, a vampire. One might say a That's gift funny. from heaven. This is no gift. I'm living a paradox. There is an absurd poetry to my situation. Physician, heal thyself. Forgive me. I've been an admirer of your work for a long time, and now you are so much more than a brilliant physician. And please, call me Edgar. I'm not some doe-eyed student, Edgar. I understand we both have something to gain from this relationship. Very well. I have a task for you, Jonathan. Something that will require all your newfound skills. Please, go on. The Pembroke only survives through the generosity of our benefactors. Unfortunately, our main donor has found herself in a bit of a bind. Now, if you could help her out... A spokesman or politician is what you need. That's not my calling. And until I come to understand what has happened to me, I require discretion. Discretion is in order, Jonathan. Lady Ashbury has recently received rather indelicate correspondence that, if revealed, would jeopardize her position. And you would like me to eradicate this threat? By the stole, of course not. I would just like you to pay her a visit. Her ladyship is certainly near the tents outside, tending the sick. We can't miss her. Look for someone impossibly delicate. Accepted. I'll see what kind of trouble Lady Ashbury is in. I see this letter. <laughs> Learn to call Econ. That's it. Do you seriously not have anything in this? Never mind. Okay, go talk to him real quick then. And Strickland. Dr. Umbe. Oh. Wasn't expecting to get anything out of that side, but... Thelma Howcroft said she was being watched by vampire hunters. Seems Where are they hiding? I should investigate. It's locked. I hate that. <sighs> K. 
can I get rid of those? Wonderful. Oops. What the fuck? I'm sorry you ended up on my plane and court medical bench, sir. I understand you need to be very angry about this unfair situation. I managed to arrange to have you buried in the same mass grave as it's your It's locked, all right. I hope that might help. Can I go around? Yes, I can. You don't mind if I search your pockets, do you, sir? You won't need any of these anyway. I'm not stealing from you, mister. I'm only redistributing your belongings to people who need them more than you. You see, no one has claimed your body, sir, so it would be such a shame to bury you with your valuables. I will not forget you, sir, and I thank you for your generous donation. I do not like this dude already. Generous donation, my ass. That's Ackroyd. Strickland. Good evening, Doctor. Have you heard any talk of blackmail going on in the hospital? If you're running some official inquiry, you had better question the patients. They know more than the staff, especially old Miss Jones. Why are you blaming yourself for the death of Miss? It is this art. If we had performed the surgery sooner, he would have left the hospital and avoided this fate. What is troubling you so much, Doctor Strickland? Is there something else? I had to meet face to face with the son and daughter of Mr. Fiddick this afternoon. Their eyes. I could barely stand before their accusing gaze. This difficult task is part of our job, Dr. Strickland. It's our responsibility. I know. As I also know, they'll never get the answer to the question they daren't ask. They were the embodiment of cold fatalism. Goodbye. Okay. But in the circumstances, I'm willing to give you the of the doubt. I just gotta talk to him, and then we can go talk to what's her name. It's locked. After I get the key to this fucker's Good evening, shit, Doctor Reed. Such a pleasure to see you again. Have you heard of someone blackmailing? in the hospital. Pardon me, sir, but I have no idea what you're talking about. Okay. Tell me the truth about your appointment as a medic during the war, Rakesh. The regiment administration appointed me by mistake. I had to learn the job on the spot, sir. Very hard, sir, but I rose to the challenge. Do you realize how many soldiers died because of that decision? You should have refused. Yes, sir. I swear I did, sir. But no one listened. When the first wounded arrived, I had to do what I could. It is an unbelievable story, Mr. Chidana. It was a time beyond belief, Dr. Reed. But I'm happy not to deal with the wounded. I prefer caring for the dead now. You can't impersonate a doctor. You can't improvise a medical education. People could die at your hands. You're absolutely right, sir. But as a field surgeon, it was more like being a butcher. Do you believe you have really helped these people? My ratings were within the averages of the regiment. I saved lives, Dr. Reed. Does that not say enough about triage and war surgery? How dare you steal from the dead, Rakesh? Is that what your pawnbrokers is really about? These people are dead, sir. What they possessed could <coughs> be useful for the living. Yeah. And I'm sure they would agree if they could speak. 
Whatever your motives, you're making money by stealing from the dead. Dr. Swansea should be informed. No offense, sir, but Dr. Swansea is one of my customers. As I told you, I like to help people, and everybody needs help from time to time. That's a fucking load of shit. Goodbye. Can I talk to her now? Is that... chick fucking leave because I murdered her boyfriend the flu took my dear wife Emily I take comfort knowing we'll soon be together again <laughs> Mr. Rainfield that's no way to talk you're in good hands here, and we'll be up again soon enough. <laughs> now do me a kindness and get some sleep. I'll be back round later. Your words are kind, the blessings of an angel. You're the sweet, sweet lady of mercy. Good evening, Dr. Reed. It's a pleasure to see you again. You seem surprised. Dr. Swansea has brought me up to speed concerning your recent appointment to Pembroke Hospital. You're a vamp. The lady who saved me that night, before vanishing into thin air. I remember you from the pub with Dr. Swansea. Indeed. Allow me to introduce myself formally this time. My name is Lady Ashbury. I remember you well, in spite of the brevity of our encounter. So it seems our Dr. Swansea does indeed have a fascination for creatures of our constitution. Dr. Swansea is a remarkable man. Dedicated, one might say, obstinate? He spent years compiling our bestiary. I hope you're more disposed to answer my questions now you must have countless questions but our rather urgent matter first Swansea has explained my cover if you prefer has been compromised have any of the patients given you trouble these poor souls have so little left to live for I do my best to ease their pain The world would be a better place if it were cared for by women like you. You make me blush. I am simply a necessary evil. Pardon my boldness, your ladyship, but I have questions concerning this condition we share. As a newborn, your hunger for answers is rivaled only by your thirst for blood. But the questions need weight. I'm a scientist. My trade is in the deciphering of mysteries, and I need information to feed my mind. I will gladly answer every question you have, but first, prove yourself capable of resolving my predicament without eating the culprit. Without eating? Swansea has commissioned me to be your agent in this matter. You could start by explaining what's amiss. These past insufferable weeks, I've been the victim of extortion. I've made a first payment, but the blackmailer grows greedy. I must refuse his most recent demands. What are your expectations? Please be precise. As the newly appointed surgeon of this hospital, you are in an excellent position to ask innocent questions and deftly learn the identity of my blackmailer. Who would be so foolish as to threaten you? A kindred spirit. Even if it were the case, and I highly doubt it, a vampire 
would have asked for something more valuable than money. My suspicions lean toward a patient or their family. If we're dealing with an ordinary criminal, surely you've the means to deal with it yourself, if I may. As immortal tradition doth dictate, all fangs and hypnotic eyes ablaze, the blood would run like a river. That's what I hope to avoid. Violence has a tendency to spiral out of control. Please continue. Every detail is essential. I'm your man. My embarrassment in this matter is eclipsed only by my shame at having put the hospital at risk. The threat from our anonymous scoundrel is clear. A list of dates. My visits coinciding with the dates of suspicious patient deaths due to massive blood loss. I'll take care of it. Do you know where I should start? If that was the case, I'd settle the matter myself. You could talk to our local gossip, Harriet Jones. Not a pin drops here without her hearing about it. I'll meet that woman now. My life, as others know, is in your hands, Dr. Reed. I'm sure of your discretion, but I do fear your powers of persuasion will be put to the test. When this is resolved, I'll be your obligé. I'll answer all questions in regards of your condition. And Harriet Jones is the only room I couldn't get into earlier. Excuse me. There's no need for alarm, madam. I'm Dr. Reed, the new surgeon. Preposterous. Dr. Reed, you say? I don't want some bumbling intern. Where's Dr. Swansea? Dr. Swansea is quite busy, and I need you to help me get acclimated. I have many questions. <laughs> How brave. Threatening an old defenseless woman. What? You know how long I've been a patient here. You've picked the wrong fight. I'm Harriet Jones. Harriet Jones? Indeed. I've been meaning to have a chat with you. You know what goes on here better than any other patient, I gather. Oh, better than any patient, nurse or doctor. I've seen so many vile undertakings. I heard there have been some despicable goings on. Was there a case of blackmail? Blackmail? I... Wait. You're investigating something. This isn't a social call. One of those incompetent cunts lit a poor sod's vein. If I didn't know better, Miss Jones, I'd be inclined to say you enjoy this type of idle gossip. God's honest truth, Doctor. It's just the way it is here. Most of these bitches would let you freeze to death before getting you a blanket. Damn. You seem to know more about the goings-on here than anyone else. Beware, Miss Jones, in case suspicion should fall on you. That's it. Blame the old and infirm. I see those little bitches' greedy little eyes. Just waiting for me to pop off, they are. I assure you, madam, this is not an investigation into a possible medical error. Debauchery, then? Nurses Crane, Hawkins, Brannigan's, whores, all of them. They can't keep their legs shut. I see. Scratching slutty sores. Really? Well, if you have irrefutable proof, I'll not have the staff behaving in such a manner here. This is your business, Doctor, not mine. But I swear one of the nurses is cavorting with some man on hospital hours. Thank you for your time, Miss Jones. You've given me something to go on. See you on the next round. The patients and staff might know something. I'll start my investigation with them.
Oh. I think he's walking to where he's got to go. I don't know why I'm doing that instead of just... going upstairs. You fucking druggie. Damn it. Why is this so difficult every time? That is better. That is better. I will make it through one more night. just jumps down and breaks a fucking pallet. <laughs> We're gonna go talk to... We're gonna go talk to this gentleman. Good evening, Doc. Doc. Have you... I... I know you're taking drugs, Kokoran. Why take such a risk? I need it to endure the long shifts. We have no idea how long the epidemic will last. We can't let it win. I understand the gesture, Doctor. An immediate answer to an emergency situation. But this can't be a long-term solution. Thank you for your understanding, my dear colleague. And be assured, I have total control of my consumption. Goodbye, Doc. It's fucking weird. Well. I got another 500, but I don't see the point in doing it right away. Oh. Hawkins. Good evening, Nassau. Good evening, Doctor. Milton cheats patients out of their money at this hospital, Pippa. Are you his accomplice? Yes, I am. Is this your definition of being useful? By abusing the sick and poor? No. It is my definition of getting out of this useless life once and for all. Why do you do it? Why not? Most of the sick who paid for a bed are already dead, or will be soon. Don't you see the futility of all this? <sighs> you put a price on hope. This goes against everything you swore to uphold as a nurse. Report me then, Dr. Reed. Report the little nurse and keep on lying about the surgical errors, the wrong dosages and diagnostics that we all covered for the sake of our colleagues. Whose idea was it? What difference does it make? We did it together, and I'm guilty as charged. Answer my question. It was my idea first, even though Milton would say it was his to protect me. Just double checking. Yep. Pepper, I know you're very close to Milton Hooks. Yes. Milton Hooks is my man. 
If you want to report me for that, just feel free, Doctor. I have no intention of reporting you, Nurse Hawkins. But are you aware of the risks? The rules say I won't be allowed to work as a nurse anymore. But here at the Pembroke, we break rules all the time. Is he worth the risk? Hey, I'm no perfect woman, and Milton is not the finest bloke. But we do our best to get by. That's all any of us can hope for nowadays. What can you tell me about the strange man visiting one of the nurses during her shift? Let me guess. You spoke with that old shrew, Harriet Jones. Do not pay attention to her, Doctor. She's full of fanciful tales. No matter how you feel about her, Miss Jones deserves our help. Who says I don't care for her? Hate is what keeps that old crone alive. <laughs> she could have been telling the truth about the mysterious man. That old witch will end up in hell soon enough. Who cares if a nurse finds some happiness where she can? What can you tell me about? Let me go. Well, no. Goodbye now. Uh, Dorothy. 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 Good evening. Good evening. Tell me what Dr. Tippett's did. I know his mistake caused a patient's death. If I had not covered up his error, Dr. Tippett's would have been fired from this hospital. I could not let that happen. You can't allow your emotions to That's dictate your up. conduct concerning patients, Nurse Brannock. Look around you, Dr. Reed. Do you really think we can afford to lose a brilliant practitioner like Dr. Tippett's in our situation? Perhaps you did it with the best intentions, Nurse Brannigan, but you took a great risk. Must I remind you that a man died? You mean you've never made a mistake? Never covered your tracks? Come on, Doctor. I wasn't born yesterday. Tell me, Nurse. Did you know Dr. Tippett's was addicted to medication? I suspected this behavior for some time, but never dared to ask him about it. Mm. Until the day he confessed to me. Why would he confess to you about his addiction, Nurse Brannigan? Don't you know you doctors can't hide anything from a nurse? We're always there, even if you don't notice us. Do you consider yourselves our confessors, Nurse Brannigan? I wouldn't dare, Dr. Reed, but I'm intrigued. How did you discover Dr. Tippett's secret? What can I say? I seem to have a knack for discovering secrets. And for hiding them as well. Do you approve of his addiction? Of course I don't approve. But I understand he needs it to fight the exhaustion. Let's hope he'll stop injecting himself once the epidemic is over. And what if he doesn't? Then we'll have to convince him to stop. I believe he's still in control of his addiction for now, but we must remain vigilant. Cool. I've decided that I won't reveal Dr. Tippett's, shall we say, misdemeanor. I'm so glad you share my point of view. Dr. Tippett's is a brilliant practitioner. We most definitely need his know-how. I hope you're I right. need his blood. This is a huge <laughs> risk we're taking. Dr. Tippett's must regain his confidence. Please, keep this decision between you and me. He doesn't need to know you've found out. Well, fuck you then. Do you know if the people have you? I've no Goodbye. Damn it, Dorothy. You're sure you don't come back with me? Nah, I ought to see someone at the hospital. Be careful. You look so bad they may keep you as a patient. Fuck them. I don't like hospitals. Or doctors. Well then, 
When you go back to Whitechapel, you may find this useful. What is it? A pass for a free medical exam by the best nurse available. Just read it. I don't read well, but thank you, I guess. I like how we didn't get spotted all of a sudden. Like, where did the boat go in that two seconds? Oh. My back is just not fucking happy anymore. Holy shit. It's not from this. It's not from sitting here and playing for you guys. It is straight up just because of fucking the last two days. My dear God. <laughs> One guy down there. I could go that way if I wanted. Can I go down? Nope. Missed that. <laughs> this man has been savagely attacked and dragged to the floor. I fucking slashed as he fucking jumped. Sir.
Quit your fucking blubbering. Are you injured, sir? Help me get out of here. I need to get out. I'm Dr. Reed, and I'd be glad to help you, but you must calm down first. Please, take a deep breath and tell me your name. Okay. Okay, I I'm Oswald Thatcher. Please, I need to get out. All right, Mr. Thatcher, you're safe now. Do you think you can reach the street by yourself? Yes. Yes, I do. Good. Now leave this place and enjoy the cool night air. It's quite invigorating. I'm sure you'll feel better if you do. Oh. here and I don't have his three no that works for me Are you I don't sure want to god damn it I'm looking at the door not him therefore just go out the damn door I don't get that concept I'm gonna make a lot of headache potions anything as we all can tell <sighs> what 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 would you call this would you call this a uh a, a place for place for a boss fight cuz i would what the fuck what sort of creature is this <laughs> Okay, he's really weak to stun, though. I couldn't dodge that. Half werewolf, half uh, half meat. This is just bullying. Free checkup in Whitechapel. 
What is Nurse Crane up to? I really must find her. There's an achievement for eating rats. Of course there is. It shouldn't surprise me. Can I just walk out it? Good. Good. Good and Morgan. Jesus. Those guys are a bit above my level. Well, who the fuck are you? Please, sir. What's going on? I'm Blight, sir. Newton Blight. I've lost my mate. Can't find him anywhere. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed from the... Oswald and myself were both infantry, sir. How long have you been searching for him? I, I can't go there. Don't be ashamed, Mr. Blight. Many so... Where was your friend? He went down... This is... We were looking... I'm off... What can you... I'm off... What can you... His name is... I have... Thank you. Did I not already rescue his fucking friend? Like, was that not already a thing I've done? complete a side mission and then I'm just gonna end her there because your boy is getting to the point of a headache where it's turning into a migraine because I'm an idiot like this it just it's so bad Use my teleporter. Sweet. It's a Nope. 
I literally cannot fight that. And the game is going to make me fight that. No, nope, can't go in that. Cool. Okay, well, we're not doing that one. <laughs> um, what about you? You're closer, so... Oh, just straight up. In this letter, Mortimer Goswick does nothing to hide his desire to die. I could give it to his mother, but doing so would betray his trust. Uh, cure for fatigue. Need one of those. Um, I need a cure for headaches, which I don't have one of those. Hmm. Honestly, the shotgun does more. <laughs> I think I can buy the gonna say like there's it's locked or not there's gotta be something it's locked or what there's two grand and that so he has the fatigue we're gonna give him the fatigue thing this guy is a headache okay Five hundred for that one, and then six hundred. Yep, because that's a thousand, and then this upgrade is six. So back to blood. <laughs> it goes to nine hundred. So yeah, we ain't buying an ultimate for a minute. The following night. Jesus Christ, everyone got sick. Another potion, or another thing for fatigue. Fatigue, fatigue, cold. Technically, I am, but not technically at the same time. Influenza. Why is my game having a stroke? I'll give the letter back to Mortimer. Give 
of letter to more of course more letter bring it back to more cosmic. All day bring the letter back to more. Good eat. Sorry. Didn't mean to talk to you in the first place. You just don't like opening that menu. Good evening. I'm okay. I have retrieved your letter, Mr. God. Thank you. I think you should talk to your mother. Thank you. Despair is a deadly poison. You're a lucky man. Don't you see how lucky you are? You're rich, you're in good health, and you have a loving mother. You're simply drowning in self-pity. Leave me alone then, Doctor, and let me drown myself. Can I have your blood first? I have to go now. Don't waste your time with me. Out of curiosity, um, find out who was spying on Teresa. Those sons of bitches. They're up there. Find the local command post in the guard of pre. The guard of pre one. So if we head this way. Oh, we are in severely high difficulty area. My stamina is just trash. Let's see how he likes a bit of 
Are you all right, Miss Havcroft? They were tracking me. Hunting me down. After the death of Thomas, they came to the hospital. They said I killed him. But you're safe now. Those men won't bother you anymore, I promise. Did you hear them? They recognized me as a vampire. I knew it. I knew it. I believe you need to get back to safety as quickly as possible. I'm not crazy. I knew there was something wrong with me. I need to tell the doctors about this. I, I really do wish I could fucking kill her right now. Because she's just gonna make her life hell. Oh, Jesus. Fuck that. I thought they were further away. saw that too. Oh. And two lockers. Large box of pills. Nice. We like that. Alright. I'm gonna go back to the hospital. I'm going to... If I can manual save, I'll manual save. If not, then I'm going to assume... No, not going that way. See if I can craft another fucking set of fatigue potions. Actually, those help. Um, fatigue, I can craft two, seven, whatever. It's about as many as I damn well needed. Holy shit. Alright. Dr. Swansea doesn't need anything. Every other fucking doctor here does, though. Good evening. Good evening. Do you need. I'm a friend. Thank you. Goodbye. He's fatigued, he's fatigued. Everyone is fucking fatigued. Good evening. You're the last. I see that. Are you real? Do you need my. Don't be ridiculous. Then you. I wish. Thank you for your. You're not. You're healthy, you're not. Good evening. Do you require. Do you. Just well. Goodbye, Mrs. Go. Just being a good Samaritan. It, I hate this game. <laughs> like, just because of that issue with the mechanics, I hate it. Good. Do you need? Done. Goodbye, Mr. Janala. Never ceases to amaze me how you, the dead, seem peaceful. This man is talking to himself again. Recovering. You're not sick. You're not sick. You have a migraine. Do I? I know I don't have one offhand, however. Let's go see if I can craft you one. Because you seem like you're going to want it. Oh, I don't have headache or migraine. I know I can buy the headache one from what's-his-name real quick. Because I could probably craft that too. Oh, did he get the shop items changed? No. 
I needed that. You fucking dick. Bottle of alcohol. Yeah. Well, I lost my good chance at that. That sucks. He's fatigued, so he gets the stuff too. Good evening. Do you need any? I'm afraid. Oh. Goodbye. Everybody in here, man. Everybody. Good evening. Do you require? I will. No. Goodbye, nurse. Everybody else is fucking. She's mesmerized twenty. Jesus. That was fucking. I'm afraid. Is that so? Now it's machination. Do you suspect another immortal is involved? Of course. <sighs> I hadn't considered that eventuality. Do be careful, my good doctor. When immortals are involved, the stakes tend to escalate quickly. I'll return with case solved. Or carried on my shield. Okay. That was fast. Uh, Is that now? It's mashing. I hadn't. Do be I'll return with. Ca I could have actually let the audio play for that. I just didn't realize my hand was in the wrong place. All right, we're gonna do one more upgrade and then we're gonna go. So I'll do the outro as we walk over there. So to everyone that was in the chat, appreciate you guys. There wasn't, I don't, yeah, there's not anyone that was hanging out in the chat and that I was ignoring. That just sucks. But, um, yeah, we will be live tomorrow night with the same game. And for those that are coming over from Twitch, or not Twitch, TikTok, and at least seeing if I'm live is solid. Um, anemia, sepsis. Yeah. Right. But on that note, after we pick, I believe, blood now. Yep. Level 12. Oh, yeah. So, on that note, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to enter there. So, please, if you are watching over on YouTube, please don't forget to drop a like, comment, and sub. It does help out, and to be honest with you, it makes everyone a little bit happier. I forgot to give, give those two guys fucking stuff. I forgot to give him his cold medicine. I forgot about that. The headaches turn into migraines and migraine. Damn it. <laughs> but, yeah. Oh, she's a pillar. Wonderful. I don't know shit. Same thing with that. Alright. But, yeah. Uh, we will see everybody tomorrow night. So, if you want to come in and hang out, twitch.tv slash sloth underscore just underscore sloth. We will see you guys in the chat. See you guys in the next one. Peace.